is it, the day we've all been waiting for. The beaters day. And the beaters and biggers up get to carry a gun and shoot. At the moment as they try and sort themselves out as to who's supposed to be stood where, but I'm sure we'll get there in the end. So Philip take the hedge up with his genetically modified spaniels. Birds going out over the walking guns. Fair bit of shooting going on over there at the moment. Birds coming back off the edge of the wood. Birds pouring out the corner of the wood here. Not being shot at at the moment. Bit of shooting there. Actually a lot falling at the moment. That one was flicked. It's gonna go way on back there. Another one just caught the wind and gone back. Those birds going out of this back corner. There's one down, shot by Bart, and I believe he's just about got up there. Look at some of these pheasants, beautiful. Yeah, so am I, Jack. I'm bugger too. Reload, Martin, reload. I think you want a machine gun, I think. There's so many of them. That one was flicked. It's gonna go down. Way back. Bird coming. I was caught, bird. Might have been touched. Come on, lads, pick one out. Sensational first drive, and we're just starting on the second one. The radio's already on fire. Brian's got flames coming out of his pocket. I'm down right on the corner. Oh, Jack stood down here. What about if I get the wall? Yeah, no, he can go up to sort of like the bend if he wants. And just stand Brian's on the radio, and the birds are pouring over his head. <laughs> over, Brian, over. Awesome. There's Jack going up into a key position to stop 10,000 pheasants running out the corner. We should be so lucky, it is January. First drive was a stunner. Now we've come down into a, a little drive where they drive the pheasants over this track and up, up the valley behind me. I'm sure it'll be a good drive when he gets going. I suspect as the drive progresses, these guns on the track will push down a bit this way as the beating line comes through. There's Brian there, he's like a coiled spring. And there's a couple of guns up the valley there. One of them is the uh, is Blakey, the owner of the genetically modified spaniels. Can't help noticing how quiet Brian is when he's got a gun in his hand. Hey, 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 no birds, hey. Lady Danger Mouse shooting with us today with her, her own loader, Adam the Gardener. You can hear the sound of an approaching beating line. Should start to see some birds soon. As Brian just unleashed hell on that copper, and he's dead. Tim's on his toes up there now. Two nice coppers. Reload, reload! Over your head, Tim. These birds are whipping across here because of the wind. Ladies are allowed to shoot hens on the roof. Bit of an explosion going on up here now at the valley. Come on, Brian! Rubbish! Wing by Brian, that one. Watch him. Gone right up the grass bank. 
Come on, Brian, buck up. Yeah. That cockbird was hit as he disappeared behind the firs. Another nice hen. I think Graham's out there with his trusty Maruka on that corner. Seen a couple of birds shot there. That's Brian again, unleashing hell on a poor old pheasant. Reload. That's a hen, don't shoot it. Copper there, Brian, one of them. That's a hen. He's diving. He's dived his last dive. He's getting excited, he's moved about 20 paces forward. Come on, Blakey! Hey, 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 hey! But Martin shot the bird. Yes. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Blakey's not shooting very well, he's blaming the dog. <laughs> nice shot there by Blakey. Hey, 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 hey. He's on the track and bring to the gate, please. That's it, the whistle was blown. It's all out and on to the next drive. Come on. Two birds coming back off a of drive. And the boys back with their spoils. Doing their bit. Make up the numbers. Well, these are higher numbered guns up here. No, they're not. They're the lower numbered guns. Everybody's sort of set already. Well, yeah, there's Lady Alex there, and uh, the end gun looks like the Blackbird specialist, Mr. Pittman. There you go, on the signal from the head man, let's start to take the drive up, we should see some birds soon. Now I know who keeps making that funny noise. Young man, it's the mating call of a Kansas pheasant. This is the calm before the storm as I call it. Tony's locked and loaded, trying to save himself a bit of time. Okay, a bit of breeze out there, there's a bit of shooting. The guys carrying guns in the beaten line. Birds going back. One caught bird down. And the other one not too well. He's down. There's the life of Brian, finding himself a good position for birds coming back. Birds forward! Here we go again. Alex! Over the bell, Mr. Pittman! Rubbish! Going out here. Look at that one. Beautiful. There's a flush going through now, guys. Reload, they're coming. His hand, don't shoot it. <laughs> He's still going. No shot, whoever that was. No shot.
Over. Is the team emerging from the undergrowth? Undergrowth. Horse has just gone. We'll be on to the next one, I expect. Well, maybe lunch first. Trevor picking up birds that he can on the bank. Is it? Ably assisted by Graham. A few shots out home? Yes, one or two, Jack. <laughs> Any bodies to show? Two more, couldn't it?